Hello, welcome back to Painting Happiness. This is episode 10 of season one. It'll be the final episode of this season. And I thought tonight we'd do a nice, simple, cold night scene. It's feeling a little cold, a little chilly, and it feels, I feel some darkness. I feel like we need to be at night. Now it's gonna be a real simple color palette tonight. Thalo green, Van Dyke brown, burnt umber, Thalo blue, sorry, Prussian blue, Mars black, titanium white, and then a bit of my transparent mixing white. And that's gonna be it. We're gonna put a cabin in here as well. I kind of have a general idea in my mind's eye of how I wanna lay this out, but again, I use acrylic paint, so they dry really quickly. And I also don't really use reference pictures. I kind of just see it in my mind's eye, and we do what we do. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now, then, I wanna get started with the sky. And for that, I'm just gonna use First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my usual sky brush that I like to use, and I'm just gonna lay in a base of Prussian blue. It's a very transparent color, and then I'll most likely come over it with a blend of Prussian blue and mixing white, so I can blend in. Maybe we'll do some clouds tonight. We'll see. And part of my reach here while I reach in front, but we gotta, gotta get this, sort of this base of Prussian blue for the night sky. And I also kind of have an idea there's going to be some big trees right here, maybe a big tree on this side. So I don't really need to worry about that part of the sky too much. So I'm just going to kind of leave in the, just going to put the Prussian blue kind of here in this little open space that we'll end up seeing. And of course I'll go, you know, a little bit more to the, to the side than, than is necessary, but got to, you know, just got to get it ready. You know me, I need my I need my edges to be full of color. And might see some sky over here too. So let's go ahead and drop a little Prussian blue over there. But pardon, I just, it's just easier for me if I go reach over here. So we'll do that. We'll do that. All right. Now then, kind of what I was thinking is there might be, maybe there's a moon or a light source right here. So I'm gonna just grab a touch of transparent mixing white mix it into the Prussian blue, make a little bit lighter of a blue color. I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna very lightly with the corner of this brush, kind of just make it a bit lighter. You can't really tell it on the, uh, on the video probably, but it's there. I'm gonna come in with a few more rounds of this. Again, I'm just gonna drop it in and then kind of blend it out. And you, this is your world. You make this as light as you want. Oh, maybe there's a nice little streak or two as well in the sky. It's picking up some of that underneath. I kind of like that. Maybe that's a far away cloud kind of back there. So, all right, tell you what, that's enough for the sky for now. I'm gonna dry off that brush real quick. Come in, I'm gonna grab a fan brush. I'm gonna go into Titanium white, a little bit of the transparent mixing white, and the tiniest touch of Prussian blue. The tiniest little touch of Prussian blue. And basically what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna lay in the indication of some clouds. I'm gonna come back over with my blender, with the, my brush I was using for the sky. Let me clean it off a little bit better. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of put in one cloud, blend it out, put in another, so on and so forth. Now for this, I'm kind of just touching and then doing a little, some circular motions. Maybe it comes up like this. We don't know where it goes. Clouds are free. Clouds are, clouds are free. They can, I'm just going to kind of fluff that up a little bit. And I'm going to come in. Now I'm just going to kind of just blend that on out into the distance. And there we go. Clean off the brush. Go back into my cloud color. A little, again, transparent mixing white, titanium white. This time I'm gonna leave it more to the white side. And I think we'll put in a couple more cloud. Maybe one right here. Maybe another one. And it comes and they come together over here. Something like so. Something like so. Maybe there's another lives right there. If you're following along at home, you put in the clouds where you want them. 
This is your your decisions. I'm not here to tell you how to how to see your world. You see it how you'd like to see it, and that's the beautiful thing. I was gonna put a couple couple of little highlights and things in in some of these. Maybe maybe right along there, and so on. Uh, come back in with a brush and we'll just very lightly go over and blend those out into the sky. And there we go. We got a little kind of a cloudy, cloudy little sky there. Let me, um, I want to clean up this edge over here really quickly. Again, I don't know that we're going to see it, but I do want to clean it up just a touch, just a touch. All right, good. I think that looks uh, looks nice. Now, I tell you what, I want to put a little indication of a mountain back there. Not a lot of detail in this one. I'm going to fade it out. So I'm going to use Prussian blue, touch of the black. And I'm just going to make a dark, dark blue color. Oh, maybe throw in a touch of Van Dyke brown. What the heck? What the heck? Mix it up right on the knife, get a nice roll of paint on the edge of the knife, and I'm just gonna come in and we'll say lives right there. Does now. Comes on down, maybe like so. I'm just gonna put in the indication of some edges here. Maybe it comes on down and comes over here, something like so. Maybe there's another little ridge comes over to the side here. Right about, right about, there it is. There it is. And then I'm gonna kinda just come in and I'm gonna blend out the base of this and leave it nice and dark. Nice and dark. I do think I, I need a little bit more darkness in, the, in this one area right here. Kinda picked up a lot of that cloud color. We'll say, add a nice little ridge to this one and make it the indication that it's in front. Something like so. Add a touch of black to that color. Just darken it down a little bit. I want to just make that one area a touch darker. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Nice little ridge in there. Very nice. All right. Now then. Clean off the knife. We might use that later. We'll see. Now I'm going to go back into the same brush I was using for the sky. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of tap this out. Oh, MK, uh, welcome in. We're going to tap out the base of this. Tap out the base of this peak. And I'm gonna come in with what was the Prussian blue. I was gonna put in the indication of some, some more of that sky color that's, we'll say it lives under this, under this mountain here. Something like so. Something like so. Got a nice mountain peak back there. Can't really make out any detail. That's exactly what we're going for. All right, now then, let's go ahead and put in what we're gonna, we're planning to do some big trees right here. Maybe we'll have a ridge, maybe be a cabin live, I don't know, right about there. We'll do some fun stuff in the foreground. So let's go ahead and put in, we'll grab the two inch brush. And I just want a dark color. So I'm gonna go into the black. Prussian blue, maybe the tiniest little touch of phthalo green, tiniest touch of Van Dyke brown, what the heck? What the heck? 
make it a nice kind of dark bluish green color. And I'm gonna kind of come in and I'm gonna both sides of the brush and I'm gonna make it into almost a little tiny, like a point. And then I'm gonna say they kind of hang down. So pardon me while I step in front. Let's say these limbs, these limbs kind of hang down. And then I'm going to put some snow on top of them. That's the general, that's the general idea. Maybe, maybe they come out right about to there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do maybe about three layers. So on this back side, I'm just going to tap in the indication, but I'm not really going to color that in. So it's more just kind of for me to remember where one ends and one begins, uh, but it's all going to get covered up. It's all going to get covered. Another one and it hangs on down. And this one will be a little bit more forward, so it'll come down a little bit lower. And then we'll do one more. Three trees sounds like a, a lovely number sometimes. You need a couple friends in life, you know? You need a couple friends in life. Alright, one more. Say comes on out and say it comes on down to right about there it is and now this one you would see the other side so I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do the same kind of deal on the back side all right here we go so that'll be the base of our trees. Let me go ahead and clean off this, this two inch brush. Actually, you know what, what the heck? We're gonna need probably some shadows down here. So I'll just get rid of a little bit of that dark color. We'll pick that up later. I'm gonna need this two inch later, so I'm cleaning it off. Dry it off really nicely. Now then, I want to kind of put in, uh, what I'm going to do here under these trees is we're going to say there's a little ridge. So, um, there'll be, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll show. Prussian blue, a little Van Dyke brown, a little black. Kind of want to make a dark stone looking color. Maybe, maybe a touch of titanium white in there. And what I'm going for here is at the base of this, let's say there's, it's a little too, a little too bright. Go ahead and darken that down with some black. What I'm envisioning is, there's a nice kind of ridge of snow and it comes on down and blends out into a little bit of a valley. So we need this to look more like stone. So we'll mix up more, more brown on that, I think. Yeah, there we go. We'll say, run down like so. Kind of comes around. It'll blend out into that. And we'll say it kind of comes around and gets smaller as it comes around. Meant to you know, be a nice little, just a little ridge. Back there. All right, now we can come in with what what the shadow color was and just add in just the tiniest touch of shadows here and there. All 
All right, clean off the knife. Now then, I wanna add some snow on top of that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a fan brush. I'm just gonna go into titanium white and just kind of put some snow over the top of those. Just for now, as a little indication, you'll it'll come together, I promise. So you might be saying, HG, you've really done it now. And you might be right. I may have done it now. Say the snow comes kind of down and around this little bend here. I may have done it now. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. Now then I'm just gonna come in with the with the same fan brush and I'm just gonna put in right along the edge of that kind of like a little bit of a shadowy snow color. That kind of where it kind of lives on the edge. Just break that edge up a little bit more. Clean off that fan brush. All right. Now then, I'm going to come in with, with just a two-inch brush right into titanium white, and I'm going to kind of lay in the rest of what I'm planning for my snow area here. Come into pretty much just straight titanium white, but I'm, I'm using that old dirty brush. I did clean it off pretty good, so it doesn't have a lot of other color on it. Get, get some titanium white in there, and I'm just going to kind of come in. I'm just going to lay it. Now, I'm not going to be afraid to pick this up because that would create a nice little shadow um, underneath this ridge here. And we'll say, comes lives on down like so. Actually, you know what we need is a touch type uh, mixing white as well. Because I do want to pick up some of the shadow color under here. We'll say it comes on, on over, just like so. Now you can kind of see, well, I don't know if you can see on the set. But it is picking up that that shadow a little bit. I'm probably going to come in and add a, a touch more shadow. Clean that up a touch. I'm going to come back in with, maybe I'll use a fan brush and we'll clean that up. Pardon my, here I'm just kind of getting the bottom of the canvas, some nice snow color. All right, now then, let's just mix up a touch of, of mixing white into the Prussian blue. We'll just add in just a, a few little shadows, kind of in this little recessed area. Maybe a touch more blue on that might be good. Just a touch, just the tiniest little touch. Yep, that's what we're looking for. So now you kind of get the indication that there's a nice little, it kind of comes on down and banks. Like so, now then, I'm gonna go back into my fan brush that I used for the snow. Just get it loaded up with some titanium white. And I'm just gonna kind of come in around these edges here and just, maybe maybe the snow kind of piles up around the base of these little, little rocky things. It kind of comes up like so. And then maybe we, maybe we just kind of take the edge of the fan brush and just work those out a little bit. The indication of some kind of some snow effects. I'll say this kind of falls on on down like so. There's a big kind of snow snow bump right there and comes on down to the edge of that little little ridge all right now then let's go ahead and put the snow on our kind of our layer of trees here so for that i'm going to go into the one inch brush 
Got a nice little one inch brush and I'm just gonna go into the titanium white. Just right into the titanium white. Now I'm just gonna say this, these are some snow covered lambs here. So pardon, pardon my reach. Now I'm making sure to leave, you know, some nice dark areas and I'm kind of thinking about how many limbs would live in there. Now again, so this tree's back, but her, there's two more in front. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a nice little dark area and I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna say maybe, maybe there's another one lives right there. But you can kind of see how it comes in and, and, and creates another layer. And then we'll finally do this last one here. Now this one, again, both sides of the tree are visible on this one. So I'm going to do some snowy limbs on that side as well. Now, so we got some indication of some snow covered trees there. Tell you what we need to do though. Let's grab a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, tiny touch of burn umber. We'll just make up a nice little kind of a brownish tree trunk color. Mix that up on the edge of the knife and I'm just gonna put in the tiniest indication of some trunks in there so you can kind of see. So I just get a roll paint on the edge of the knife and I'm just gonna kind of come in and there would be maybe you could see a little indication. I'm just barely touching Barely touching in the indication of some trunks. Kind of in these dark areas where I think they might live. I'll tell you what, this one's a little bit too, too much. I need to, oh boy. We had a happy accident there, didn't we? That's all right. All right, one more. Now then, say you live right there. Just the tiniest little touch. Right there we go. All right. Now then, so you kind of see there's a nice little tree, tree area. And we got more sky over here. I'm gonna leave this dark and blank back here. Maybe what I'll do, I'll tell you what, maybe let's put a bush. Let's put just a bush back there. So I'm gonna grab my two inch brush. I'm gonna go into touch of the black, touch of the Prussian blue. Let's get a nice dark base color. I'm gonna say, there's, maybe there's a, there's a bush lives right there on the top of this hill. Now then, come back in with our one inch brush, the titanium plant, and I'm just gonna put in kind of how I, you know, some snow on the top of that bush. Hey, lives. It's a nice snow covered bush. I'm gonna go into just a touch of the shadow color, because I would say there'd be shadow under here, so I'm just gonna whoosh, drag that down. There you go. Now I do want to come in uh, with my fan brush that I was using for the snow, go into the titanium white, and I'm just going to put in kind of the indication of some, maybe there's some rough kind of stuff happens along the base here. Who knows what's, maybe there's some grassy type things live there. We don't know. We don't know. Now then. All right. Now then, let's go ahead and put in our cabin, which I think is gonna be right about here. Gotta see where the shadow is. Maybe maybe, person living back there says it's cold. I'm gonna walk alone at night in the darkness and just kind of collect my thoughts. And sometimes you have to do that. 
Sometimes you have to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go into straight titanium white on the brush, or sorry, on the knife, and I'm just going to put in the indication of where I want my roof to be. So I'm not mixing any colors here. I'm just getting titanium white. And we'll say, we'll say, lives, lives. We're going to cover up kind of this backside. So we'll say right there. That doesn't look like anything yet, but I promise you it will. I promise. Say it's a nice snow covered roof. Again, this backside's gonna cover it up, so I'm not too worried about it. Say maybe there's a nice little eave right there. We'll say so that it would come out to here. Something like so. That front side, I need to scrape off some of this white. I kind of messed up the angle. Just scrape off some of this white. Will be no problem though. So now I'm gonna go back over it with Van Dyke Brown, a little bit of burnt umber. Mix that up on the knife and be a touch of black as well. on the edge of the knife and I'm just going to come in I'm going to kind of follow my roof pull straight down see so that white underneath actually works out okay because it kind of gives the indication of some old weathered wood which is not not too bad say maybe it comes and lives right right about there do the other side I'm just putting in the kind of the guides right now for how I want my cabin to be. I'll do that back side. Like I said, the, the back side is going to mostly get covered up, so I'm not too worried about how that looks there. Just the indications, just the indications for me to remember and follow. Let me step out of the way there so you can kind of see. It looks very light on camera, but it's not quite as light in person. I'm gonna go back over, I mixed up more of the brown. I'm just kind of going back over the front here to just block in some more of the brown color. Darken that down a touch. All right, now then, you can clean off the knife. Anyway, I'm gonna go into mix up another batch, Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Umber. Mix that up on the knife. I think I'm going to put in some indication of some boards on this cabin on the front side. Get a nice roll of paint on the edge of the knife and I'm just going to come in. I'm kind of just going to tap, tap and pull. Not really working out how I planned. Let's tell you what. Oh, here we go. Let's just... We got enough paint now to where we can kind of spread that across and we'll take out and we'll get rid of most of that light color that we had. And I'll tell you what, I'll let it dry and then I'll come back over it and we'll kind of finish up and put in the indications of some boards and things. Clean off the knife, tell you what, I'm gonna need more black so let me get some of that on my, where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Let me grab some of that real quick, put that on my palette. All right. So we're going to come back to the cabin. For now, let's tell you what. Let's go ahead and put maybe a nice dead tree here. Honolulu Painter. That's actually, uh, I like that idea. I should do that. I should do that. Let's go ahead and, and maybe we say, um, let's grab the two-inch brush. Go ahead and clean that off really quick. That's, that's, I, well, I can't believe I hadn't thought of that actually. <laughs> Why did I think of that? 
I'm gonna load the, the two inch brush with some titanium plat. And let's just put the indication of maybe there's a nice bump kind of right about here. We'll say lives, there it is. All right, clean that off, go into the mixing lot with a touch of Prussian blue, just to kind of blend this together a little bit. Now I got a nice little snow bank. We're gonna put a nice, here's what I'm thinking. What if we put a big old dead tree on, on there? So let's tell you what, let's go into the, we'll use the knife for this, I think. Just mix that, we'll use some of that brown color and we'll say maybe, maybe, maybe comes and lives all the way up there, all the way up there. It's going to come on down. Oh, geez, oh, that's too much paint on there. Just touching to let the canvas take off the paint that it needs. We'll say lives right on that big kind of snowbank we just put in. This lives right there. Maybe it's a kind of a bigger tree towards the base here. So let's go ahead and you know, widen out the base. Maybe there's a couple, kind of darken this down and bring this together a touch down here. Maybe there's a couple little kind of crooks that come off the, the tree here, maybe. There's one. Sign off like so. There's another one comes over this side. Big old arms kind of coming off of this guy. Maybe there's another one lives right there. Say one more on the side. What the heck? Now this tree's not gonna have any leaves on it. But I'm gonna come in, let's grab a touch of the titanium white into that same color we were using. It's that burnt umber Van Dyke brown mix. Touch titanium white, get a nice roll on the edge of that. I'm just gonna come in, I'm gonna put the tiniest touch of some highlights on here. Just here and there. Not too much, not too much. But that'll kind of bring it together because you notice down here it kind of picked up some of that white from underneath. So that'll kind of clean that up and bring that together for some consistency. Right into the arms as well. Maybe, maybe. Let's go ahead and grab a touch of titanium white on the edge of the knife. Maybe there's some snow kind of hangs out and lives on these limbs. Maybe right up here on the tip top of the tree, there's a nice little snow pile. snow on this one. Don't want him to be lonely down here. All right, now then, let's go ahead and clean up the base down here. What I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to go into the, I'll just use the one inch for this, go into the titanium white. And I'm just going to kind of clean up that base, say it's covered in snow.
Maybe, maybe. Tell you what, let's grab a fan brush. Grab a fan brush. Maybe we'll go into a touch of the, the brown and white color. Maybe there's some little shrubs and things live at the base of this tree that aren't completely covered in snow. So we'll kind of just tap in the indication of some little things here at the base of this tree. And then we can come back in with our one inch. And we kind of clean up the, the edges on that. Comes on down. There we go. All right, very nice. Now then, let's finish up our cabin and then we'll finish up this side of the, the painting and we will have a finished painting, I think. So, finish up the cabin, grab the knife. Gotta clean this off. I'm gonna go into black and brown and I'm just gonna touch in and put in the indication of some really dark boards. So a black, Van Dyke brown, mix that up, tiniest touch of burnt umber, tiniest touch. All right, so then again, I'm just, oh golly, I got way too big of a thing of paint on the edge of the knife there, gosh. That was almost going to be another happy accident. So this is a darker brown color and I'm just putting the indication of some darker boards and spaces in the brown. Not sure you can see it on the, on the set, but that's all right. Leaving space for a door here underneath. I'm kind of tapping and just very lightly pulling to the side, very, very gently. Very gently pulling to the side. All right, now then, going to just straight black on that knife. I'm gonna put in the indication of a door. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? There we go, that's a little bit better. I think I had some other colors on my knife. Nice door. Going to just a touch titanium white on the edge of the knife. Touch the, kind of the edges. Indication of where that door lives. All right, now then, tell you what, let's put a little window in there. I need more black on my palette too. I've used up all the black, pardon the sound. All right, now then. So on the small corner edge of the knife, I'm gonna get some black and I'm just gonna come in, the indication maybe there's a window lives right there. It does now, it does now. Gotta kind of darken that down a touch more, I think. There we go. So now we'll come back in and after that dries a bit, we'll go ahead and put in the indications around that of where that lives. Nice little window there. Golly, too much paint. I should have scraped off some of that, uh, some of that board indication before I did this. Well, that's all right. We got it now. We got it now, where we need it. All right, now then, so we got a window. Now then, I'm gonna come in with a little, with the same fan brush I was using, uh, and I'm gonna go into just the titanium white. I'm just gonna say, you know, maybe, maybe some of the snow comes and maybe it kinda lives around the edge of this like so. Clean off the brush, and then I just kind of blend this. Oh, golly, it's still got a nice, nice amount of brown on that. Let's go into the mixing white with the Prussian blue, that nice shadow snow color. And we'll just come in and we'll just 
blend this down into the shadows. And there we go. To be a little bit more blue down here. Picked up too much color, I think. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Now then, clean that brush off. Let's go ahead. Let's put one big tree right there, and we'll call it done. We're going to use the same. Uh, we'll go into the two inch. Clean it off. Go into the dark, little black, little Prussian blue, touch of phthalo green, touch of Van Dyke brown. We'll say there's a nice big tree, kind of lives, lives right there. Now this brush kind of already had some of that snow color on it, so it'll be a little bit brighter than the other. That's all right. Maybe, maybe we need another limb hangs out right there, like so. All right, clean off that brush, go back into our one inch straight titanium plat. The indication of some snow on these limbs. These are kind of droopy, we'll say. That tree is pretty much done. So we'll come in, let's go ahead with the same one inch brush, titanium white. And we're just gonna kinda blend this out over here. Maybe we'll put a little snow bank down at the base of this tree and we'll blend that out into the little path that is coming out. A little Prussian blue, a little mixing white. Blends nicely together. Now, same deal that we did with the other one. Come into the fan brush, get some titanium white on there. Come in and a, some nice little things along the base. And then just blend them out. All right, now then. Come back in. I'm gonna put just the the tiniest indication of a little a little white around that window that I made before. It's the tiniest little indications. Oh golly, that was not the tiniest little indication. But that's all right. Maybe there's maybe there's a little window sill that's kind of catching the snow back there on that on that little window. Let's see if I can't scrape some of that off. There we go. All right. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. All right. Now then, I would normally, maybe I would say put some light on there. Tell you what, though, I do need to do one more thing, and I need a bit of red for that. I'll be right back.
I did not anticipate this when I set up, but I do want to do this. I'm, I, I have been called. The canvas has called to me. Let's give this guy a little chimney. Come into the, in the knife. I'm just going to put a touch of red on the edge of that knife. On the short end, and I'm just going to say maybe, maybe. Little chimney lives right there. It looks a little weird being so bright, so I'm going to darken that down with a touch of Van Dyke Brown. Give it more of a brick-like color. On the edge of the knife, come in, go over with a touch of the brown. On the chimney, come in with the titanium white on the knife, Hit the edges. Well, that is not enough white. We need to really get that in there. There we go, that's much better. That's much better. Add the little chimney right there. Clean up the edges here. Now you got a little chimney, so now he can stay warm on this cold winter night. Tell you what, let's go ahead and put in the just the indication of, of maybe some, maybe a tree uh, trunk here on this one on the on this side. Maybe lay it right there. See some of it right there, right on the edge. Maybe something like so. Maybe something like so. And I think we've got. A finished painting hope you enjoyed this painting hope you enjoyed this series I'm not sure when the next one will be back but in a couple months we'll be back with season two of painting happiness I'm so glad you joined me thank you so much have a good day my friends bye-bye